Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com, Sony Alpha Ambassador. And uh, on the A7R Mark II today, uh, you're probably thinking WTF. Okay, this is uh, a Petzval lens. Okay, this is uh, a lens design that dates back to 1840. And it was brought back to life by Lomography, who uh, had a Kickstarter campaign to get this uh, lens uh, live and kicking. Now, uh, if you're going to ask me whether this uh, lens is sharp or not, we're probably missing the point here. Okay, for people in the know, this lens is all about the background bokeh or bokeh, depending on your pronunciation. Okay, so does it have autofocus? Of course not. We have uh, rack and gear focusing. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, um, the gold appearance is because it's made from brass, so it's not really very lightweight. And uh, if you're thinking, okay, so how wide is the aperture? Okay, it's that wide. Okay, it has no aperture ring. Uh, we change the aperture by selecting an aperture and inserting it in the top there. Okay, now wide open, we're going to be shooting at 2.2. Uh, so it does give very, very shallow depth of field and its focal length is 85 mil. So it's become a bit of a classic for uh, portrait uh, lens photography. Now there is a Canon mount and a Nikon mount. So you're probably going to have to attach this. Well, you are going to have to touch it via a lens adapter. I've got this one uh, on a, um, uh, a Novaflex adapter. Um, uh, very nice uh, machined uh, adapter, but um, already I noticed when I was uh, attaching this lens, there's a little bit of a wobble, but that's probably the least of your concerns with this one if you're looking for sharp focus. Wide open, we're going to get that lovely swirly bokeh. Well, I say lovely, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it is very recognizable. It's, um, it's, it's, it's very... <laughs> It's very characteristic of this lens. Um, and I'll just uh, show you a couple of pictures uh, of this. Uh, it works really well with um, background leaves or background regular patterns. And uh, we get this uh, vortex effect uh, around our subject. Now, if you're gonna be zooming in to see how critically sharp your image is, it's not gonna be that sharp. We could get it uh, sharper by just uh, stopping down with the, uh, the inserted aperture in the top. Here you see I've got a, a collection of apertures in my hand here. Okay, we could get that a little bit sharper, but then we're going to be losing that uh, swirly bokeh uh, that uh, we probably purchased this lens for. Now, I, I obviously it's it's very different from say uh, a Nikon FE 90mm macro, uh, but it's certainly a bit of fun and uh, it's packaged quite nicely. We get this lovely presentation box. A lovely little booklet uh, to show us how to use the lens. We get this lovely little suede carrying kit. Um, okay, it's not really cheap, but it's uh, I found it to be quite a lot of fun. Okay, and if you're out in the street, certainly you're going to um, have passers-by asking you what on earth you have attached to your camera. As said, the look isn't for everyone, um, but uh, as the name would suggest, obviously the people who uh, started that um, Kickstarter campaign, uh, Lomography, it's uh, classified as an art lens now. Um, it's not precise, it's not about precision, it's about effect. And uh, if you're interested in that effect, um, then certainly check it out. Okay, thanks for listening. I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com. Catch you online next time.